Hi, this is something I want to share with you about using this kit that I have produced for my students to uh, demonstrate for them the PID controller in action to control the position of this motor. So, the system here is a DC motor that has um, a, a motor inside here and also a, a potentiometer to sense the angle of the shaft and that uh, feedback signal go to the kit. We have a section here for open loop control where we have here this uh, knob to be used to control the uh, position of this shaft but in open loop way. We have here the driver and we have a switch here to select the PID circuit to control the angle here. Okay, So we have here the P and I and D terms uh, can be controlled by these potentiometers. We have the sit point as well in the feedback loop can be controlled by this potentiometer and I kept this PID control design based on operation amplifiers because I want it to be as simple as possible that's why I avoided the programming uh, the programming methods okay uh, so let's now start with the open loop and I have to turn it on now if I can control the position of the shaft by controlling this shaft okay uh, or this knob and I can stop I can give voltage and stop give voltage and stop to control where we are I use my eyes here as a feedback to decide if I reach the the the, the position accurately so in this case I have to make efforts to decide where I can stop the voltage okay and if I keep the voltage it will go to the limit okay and this is not required or not desired okay in this case i'm going to select the pid control to do this job and in, um, instead of me i have just enabled the p term here or p gain because i have two jumpers here are uh, uh, unpopulated here so let's now start with the p controller if i use this knob now to control the position of the shaft okay it doesn't work okay i'm using here some list to give us uh, the level of each term after the P, after the I, after the D and the action if it's positive or negative okay so I have no action because all of them are quite small or zero okay so now let's try to set this to any angle random angle and I try to increase the, pos the, the P term here and yeah it starts responding and if I now go to any position it's now responding and the, the, the response is is quite okay okay so it's fast uh, and good but it has some steady state error and the indication for that is the I term is accumulating some some errors and it's 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 clear here okay so if I want to decrease the steady state error I have to increase the B term a little bit but in this case I am I'm, 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 I'm observing some oscillation here okay that oscillation might be damped later, but look at that, okay? Sometimes it's it's quite high and it's not damped. To damp the oscillation of the uh, uh, P term, okay, we have to increase the D. And now I'm, I'm trying to engage the D now. And once I add it, it damped the system, okay? So if I have the D at the middle, for example, and now try to, if I'm using even high P, P gain, the D term is still able to damp it, okay, and it's quite nice, okay, a little bit of overshoot, I don't have a scope here uh, on a side to give you uh, a good a good uh, measurement of the output, okay, but it's it's very nice, okay, uh, if I now, the, the, the speed is okay, the overshoot is okay, and damped response, but still the steady state error is not zero okay and that's quite obvious here from the leads here uh, after the i term uh, after the integrator action okay and the integrator tells me here that we have still some some error that's accumulating here okay as a voltage and that voltage if it has been sent to the motor this will drive it to the to, to be steady state error zero so now let's take this small voltage here okay and engage the I term and now zero steady state error and we have seen a little bit of movement uh, for correction okay so if I made this at the middle and the middle and that's at the middle okay we have very nice 
very nice movement and response here okay and the item tells me here there is no error if I take the item again out okay so that might accumulate some error later okay look at that so we have here a little bit of error starting okay that error can be compensated by engaging the I term and now it disappears okay so we can control the damping the system error the speed by DC3 according to my explanation there is one point here if I decrease the P term to the minimum or zero okay and try now just to engage the I and D and look at that once I ask for another uh, desired value it starts oscillating and that means it's unstable system okay so here we have the B term to be added to damn the system if I have small this is small I gain and this is large I gain it it it, it, it just give us small, a dif small difference in how it reacts to to correct the uh, the error. If I made some disturbance here by moving it, forcing it, some look at that. I'm accumulating some errors, and once I leave, it corrects itself to the other side. It accumulating in the negative side here and leave it. Okay, and the B term as well. It says we have some amplified error here in the positive side and now it's zero. So this is the demonstration of this kit. I hope um, you like it and if you have any comment to enhance it, please let me know. Thank you very much.